Hello guys, so today's video is going to be all about my lips. Um, not that I've had them done, but I get so many questions about like what my lip care routine is, how I make them look plump and like, just like this basically. So I thought I'd do today's video on that and bring you guys in on some of my products that I use, my favorite lipsticks, I mean lip glosses. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna show you today. <laughs> Just a heads up, you will be seeing me in this same exact outfit and look in the next video I upload because I'm filming back to back, so yeah, don't start judging me. <laughs> okay, so to start off my lips, they're not that bad, but they are a bit dry, like around the corners here. That's where I usually get my dryness. The first step I do, which I've already done, is cleanse my lips. And I go in with the same cleanse that I use for my face, but I just focus it more around my lips and on my lips because sometimes you may notice that you get some red bumps on like the edges, which looks like they should be something you should be worried about. <laughs> but really, it's just like pores with trap dirt, like your lipstick and like makeup and stuff. So don't forget to scrub extra hard around your lips and I just go in with my usual Biosense cleansing oil. I love this oil so much and it breaks down makeup very well so that's why I go in with that. I use that cleanser both day and night because in the mornings I feel like it's just a good way to start your lips off in the morning because it's like a good clean slate and obviously at night that's when you finish your day so you need to clean it. So then it leaves my lips looking like this which they look kind of chapped. So what I do, which some people might find extra and a bit too harsh for their skin, is go, I go in with a like muslin cloth textury um, fabric. It's like, this isn't a muslin cloth, but it's like a pad, which is fabric, but it has like a similar texture. This is actually more gentle than a muslin cloth, which is why I use it like daily. My lips are very, very dry, so I need to exfoliate them often. So what I do is I just dampen this a bit of water, preferably hot, and then I just like do this. I use circular motions just to remove any of that like loose skin that might still be there. I sometimes also use a toothbrush, like a separate one. I used to use that before, um, but I felt like it was really ripping my skin off, so I just opted for this, which is a bit more gentle. Um, or you can use like a flannel, I guess but I concentrate mostly on the edges. I just do this for about, I don't know, until I feel that it's enough. I also sometimes use a sugar scrub. Now you can do this at home with like some honey, a bit of sugar, or you can buy it, but I think why buy it when you can just do it at home? You know what I mean? So just mix a bit of honey, a bit of sugar, and then scrub your lips if you don't want to use this. And then when I feel like that's enough, as I would with my skin, I go in with a moisturizer, and this isn't a moisturizer, it's like a oil. I use castor oil, and castor oil is usually used for growing out hair and stuff, not saying I want to grow hair on my face or my lips, but I find that it's like the thickest oil. Um, olive oil and stuff is like really thin for me. And this one, if you use castor oil, you know what I mean by it. it's like a thick oil, it's like, really dense and I like that um, because it really feels like it's getting into my lips. So I just put this on in the morning if I have like nothing else to do. I usually put on a lot, like I go all the way around my lips. <laughs> um, also before I start my makeup, I like to put this on just to like prep my lips and like get them ready for the product that's about to go on it. My lighting is just really messing up. <laughs> so yeah, I apply a very small amount of that on there. I like to like go over the edges as I said because the perimeter is usually where I get dry skin. So I like to do a bit of that. And you can see like it just softens up my lips and like makes them look hydrated and plump, which I love. Now for when I'm on the go, it's also still very important to look after your lips, of course, especially in winter. Everything about my skin in any part of my body is just suffering because it's so dry. So I like to carry around two main lipsticks, lip balms, and it's the Burt's Bees uh, Pomegranate Moisturizing Lip Balm. I don't really care about the flavor. This is just like the one I picked up. Um, but I find that this one, it's like a normal chapstick, but this one is very moisturizing in a way that other ones like Carmex isn't. Carmex feels very medicinal, like the way it smells and stuff. I've tried it, but I feel like, cause my lips 
can be so sore sometimes from how dry they are it sometimes really burns and I don't really like that so I love this Burt's and Bees one it's a very very hydrating chapstick and it's 100% natural which I love the second lip balm I use probably just as much or slightly a bit less than the uh, Burt's Bees one is the Bondi Sands lip balm this is the vitamin E one this isn't even the one I use um, exactly I use the white one but I've lost it but it has SPF in it which is so important because I go on about SPF in your skin but I've never really spoken about SPF in your lips because I feel like lips get neglected and I don't like putting face SPF on my lips because I feel like it's a bit too thick like if you know what I mean and like it can leave that like white perimeter like around your lips which I don't like so I've got like a specific lip SPF for my lips which I use all the time and it's a very like coconut <laughs> smell which is it smells so good and it's a different texture to the Burt's Bees ones this one is a bit more liquid and like it's just a bit more like like it just I think it has oils in it and stuff it's just super like oily I think it's got coconut oil in it if you have your occasional lip balm that you already found and that you already love look for a separate SPF that you need to apply on your lips because that I noticed that when it's sunny and stuff my lips get cracked so easily and having that protection really minimizes the damage so please wear SPF on your lips as well now when it comes to the going out products like lipsticks lip glosses lip liners and stuff if you know me, I love lip glosses over anything. I wear an occasional lipstick, but I would never, it's not like my go-to. It's only really if the look needs a lipstick, but I always try and fit lip gloss in there. And the reason is mostly because my lips are dry, as I said. So lipsticks sometimes, if they're really drying, like I never wear mattes. Matte lipsticks, you've never seen me in a matte lipstick. Like liquid lipstick is a no go for me i just don't go there because it just makes my lips look so bad so lip glosses for me i find that it just looks even if my lips are chapped underneath it just disguises it with a thick layer of like shine so it looks like they're really plump and juicy which is why i love them so my favorites are Marc Jacobs this lip oil don't know if it's a lip gloss but it's a lip oil and it pretty much does the same thing and this is like the key one for when your lips are dry and you like need something to make them not look dry <laughs> this is like the perfect one it's just like it's a lip oil so it doesn't feel uncomfortable it doesn't feel sticky it feels very hydrating actually like it feels like it's looking after your lips whilst looking so plump do you know this is my favorite by far like if I could live with one lip gloss, it would be this one. But then I also love the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Glosses. They've got so many nice shades and these literally make your lips look so juicy. I've worked with Too Faced with their Lip Extreme and genuinely if you want those plump, juicy lips and you don't want to get lip filler, like I wouldn't get lip filler because I don't feel like my lips are something that I need to work on, you know? But if you want like a cosmetic temporary alternative, they literally give you that little... Let me just show you the regular lip injection, which is what I use daily. And this one doesn't have the um, like, what is it? The like work done kind of look. It's more just like looking plump. It has a bit of a tingle, but it's not like uncomfortable where it feels like you need to rip it off your face you know <laughs> it's like a nice feeling but yeah this is like what I'm using most of the time so yeah, if I'm using like a clear lip gloss it's probably the Marc Jacobs and my lips are really hydrated it's this if I'm using like a colored one it's most probably the Too Faced regular lip glosses as you can see it's like it just looks really it's just yes they've actually like plumped up a bit like my bottom lip has definitely plumped up and that's exactly what the Too Faced is aimed to do it's like 
really bring your lips out bring them like that natural but plumpy juicy vibe this lip gloss is literally the perfect lip gloss for no makeup just lashes lip gloss and you're out the door because it just like i feel like it just looks like you're ready like i just can't explain it but this lip gloss is genuinely like one of my face i literally have hundreds of lip glosses like no exaggeration um so there's definitely some that i have missed and if I remember any other ones that I love, which I know I have, like I love the NARS Laguna lip gloss actually, and I haven't included that. But that one is also really good, like the um, bronzy Laguna shade, not the other pink one that they have. The brown one is also one of my favourites. It's so... It's an oil as well, I think, actually. It's an oil-infused lip gloss, so it's very, very comfortable. All these are comfortable, it doesn't feel like... You know when you get that disgusting like thing around your lips like when you do that and it's like all clumping together and it's like not a vibe these don't do that so your safest bet is getting these ones like sometimes the nyx ones or the nyx ones sometimes they do that and it's like you can't go wrong because of the price but sometimes it looks very mad <laughs> so i'd rather not so i just go for these ones so yeah i think i've covered everything to do with my lips it's not like an extensive routine that i spend hours on it's very basic um but if there's anything else I've missed, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated if I develop any new stuff. Um, because I get so many questions about my lips. Um, and I haven't had filler as well, let me just put that out there. I haven't had anything done to my lips, these are all mine. Because <laughs> uh, people ask me, I remember someone asked me, have you had your lips done? Because I want to get mine done. And I was wondering how many ml you've used. And I was like, zero. I haven't used any, but thank you. She was like, I'm going to use your lips for reference. I was like... So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again in my next video with the same exact outfit. Bye. <laughs>